All right, we are working on a Power Smart snowblower. And as you can see in the opening shot there, stuff is not spinning. So something going on in the transmission. I suspect it's the brass gear for the worm gear that is toast. So we're gonna we're gonna split the case on this guy and then pull everything apart in the front, pull the transmission apart or uh, the, the worm gear housing, if that's what you wanna call it, and see what's going on. So these steps I'm doing, it's pretty generic for any type of snowblower. Maybe the steps are a little different, but you gotta split the case. Usually there's two bolts that hold it on. You gotta disconnect some cables, you know, uh, belts, things like that. There's two over here, two on this side. And it's gonna collapse on you. So that's okay. Just have to get the cable for the auger off. And then once you do, we kind of back it out, get the belt to come undone. And then set your unit aside. So we're gonna take the three bolts out on the side. Same on the other side. take this bolt off. You're gonna need an impact wrench to probably get this. Well, that one came right out, wow. <laughs> Sometimes you never know with these. You know, like this right here may or may not come off easy. Um, the hope is that it will. But we gotta, essentially, that shaft that spins everything is right here, so we gotta push it that way. So the easiest thing to try and to see if it will work is take the transmission, you know, grab the, start wiggling it and pulling it this way. And then if we're lucky, it will, it will start pulling and come out. some progress now this wheel sure okay we're still in chat this is now coming out a little bit there's a little keyway back here do not lose that all right I'm gonna take this off so this doesn't go rolling away a little shim and then the rest should be just the bearing. Now you don't want to start hammering on this really hard. You don't want to mushroom it or anything like that. I usually find it best just to take the bolt that was holding everything on, kind of just put it back in there. Give it a few taps. You only can go so far because you, then you're going to have the actual um, sleeve of the bearing here. See if that pushed it through a little bit more. So you can see I had the bolt on there that whole time. So I was smacking the 
bolt, not too hard, but if I damage this bolt head, I can replace this pretty easy. If you mushroom this and start messing this up, uh, it's just bad news. <laughs> so, and you gotta remember where everything goes too. So take pictures, I'm recording, so I can come back and watch my video. And we're gonna start pulling this guy apart. We shouldn't have to take this off. But we gotta remember how these caps go. Like this cap flew off on me. Pulled like that. Um, yeah, but we need to take all that off because we gotta split this to get into the, the gearing. Should be able to split this guy open. Should come open pretty easy. Just kind of wiggle this guy out. There's this bushing right here. kind of stuck. This gasket probably can be reused. But I mean, nothing wrong with it. And there's our big old brass gear. This is what should not happen on a snowblower. What should happen is when you hit something hard, these holes right here in the shaft, you have shear pins. You can see this one's got the notches in them. These should break. So it's telling me that this snowblower at one point didn't have them, had regular bolts in there, or those are just not breaking. And when it hits, it starts shearing this brass gear instead of shearing the shear pins. Shear pins are a lot cheaper to replace and you don't have to pull this thing apart. So we got to find the new uh, brass gear and of course clean all this up. All right, it's been weeks for me, seconds for you. We finally got this gear. That is hard to come by. And actually the customer found it before I could get it. <laughs> so we got to clean this up. I got each half of the case here we gotta get all the existing grease and gunk out of there we gotta clean the worm gear and then of course put the new gear on the shaft there all right got all the sparklies out these suckers need to be clean i used the oven brake cleaner, gas, a brush, air compressor, but it's gotta be clean because you can't have all this back in there. Um, I like to mock everything up before I throw any grease in and everything into it. So just kind of familiar, you're, get familiar with how it all goes back together. Because if this is all starting to get you know greasy and everything, it's like, well, how did it go?
See, this is why, because like, you know, how does that sit on there? And how far does this sleeve go up? And how does, you know, how does each thing go? All right, so that's how this is gonna go. I was, this like washer piece, I was thought it goes over here, it doesn't. It doesn't fit in there. So you just kind of get an idea. I gotta put the shaft in there next. And then of course, this will go like that. And then this piece will go on. All right, then once you get that back together, just manually spin this. And make sure that this is rotating. Of course, this won't rotate unless that rotates. So now what we're gonna do is put our grease in. So squirt some in and then start spinning. Okay, you see how we got one side on, but this is where your pictures and everything like that come into play. So spacer, one of these guys. Or you watch my video, <laughs> know how to put it back together. This goes on. That should line up with the hole there. And then put one of these in here. And then put your shear bolt in. And give it a tighten. And it takes a spacer. Yep, spacer. And it takes another one of these. And then this spacer goes right here. And then that one's on the, the edge. But we're gonna, yeah, like that. And then that's what these caps right in right there when we bolt it to the, the case. All right, one thing I don't think I showed is I did put some grease on that shaft. Um, I'm using some lithium white grease on the end here. It's a little bit thicker. I'm trying to get these caps to stay as I put it together. It may or may not work because you got to get. We got to get it into the case 
and uh, they like to fall out as you're putting everything together. Next, uh, we got. Oh, I put it on there, huh? Is this spacer goes here, and then now we got to put it in the the case. So we're gonna set this aside. Get our case up here. Move you so you can hopefully see what I'm doing. The camera's going everywhere. Whee! Spacer. Gonna get it back on there. You just gotta get the shaft through the bearing back here. Just kind of feel it go in and just start wiggling. Just like if we took it apart. Put a few uh, bolts on our cap, get, get them lined up with the side. You don't want to tighten it too much. You just want to get it on there so that everything doesn't come back apart on us. So just, just finger tighten this. Once we have it all assembled, then we'll come back and tighten it up. All right, I put our spacer back on here. Uh, do not forget this keyway. Just kind of sits in here. Put our bolt back on. And we're gonna just tighten that. All right, now that we got that back together, all right, now that's together, just kind of shouldn't move anywhere. Should spin. Uh, the metal you're hearing, the brake for this thing actually is just metal on metal. Uh, cheap design. <laughs> Usually there's like a little brake pad. But now I'm just going to tighten the sides up. attach this back to the snowblower. Well, back to the housing, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, let's put the halves back together. This particular model is a challenge. There's no hinge on it. So you just have two bolts here, two bolts over here. Um, one of the bolts over here actually holds on the engagement for the auger. One of the bolts actually goes through it. So what I do is kind of get it where it's going to need to go. You can see I got a clamp on the belt that helps that keep that up. 
But once we kind of get it close here, like that, before you can bolt it together, you see the, the hook here? That has got to go on this right here, because that's what engages the auger. So you can see, you're trying to balance everything and it just collapses. In my opinion, crappy enough design. Like I said, better, newer snow, snowblowers, better engineering um, makes this a lot easier. Let's see. that as much as I can. That goes here. Let's see. Trying to get your, that out of the way. All right. That's in now. Kind of get the halves close to each other here and hope that one of your bolt holes lines up. I got one back here. Woo! Let's see if we got one over here. We do. Just finger tighten that guy on there. Finger tighten this one. Just kind of have to jiggle it around. Okay, I didn't bore you with all that. I got it back together. It's all hooked up. I just got to put the cover back on, but now I just want to start it and make sure that it works. 